The demand for food production is increasing, but this traditionally labour-intensive and family-based industry has struggled to retain the younger generation in jobs that are often difficult, unsafe and repetitive. There is a great need to automate farm machinery, drive it beyond the capability of human operators and yet maintain accurate crop plantation. Dr. Jay Katapidia from the School of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering and Dr. Ray Eaton from the School of Electrical Engineering and Telecommunications are developing a solution, the driverless tractor. The main research is to get these ground vehicles to very accurately follow a certain prescribed path. We call this autonomous navigation of off-road vehicles. So there is no point in rebuilding a tractor, we go and buy a tractor. And then the next stage is to go and instrument this so that it can uh, develop capabilities to navigate all by itself. So when you buy the tractor, you only get the, get the steering wheel, of course, because you know this is a manually driven tractor. And then all these bits and pieces that are here are put on by us. And what you see here is a tiny motor, which is uh, strong enough to do the steering when the tractor is under power steering. Both these pedals are actually interfaced to the built-in computer. So we don't have to mount any motors here. We get our computer to talk to the tractor's computer and give the commands directly to the tractor's computer. That way the propulsion takes place. So GPS will actually say exactly how the machine is moving. And these sensors that are here, the encoders, they will tell how the wheels are working. The system will initially be available as a retrofittable conversion kit. This means that the manual tractors farmers own today will become autonomous tractors tomorrow.